What's up guys, it's Godzilla Rex, he's saying for here. And for today's video, I'm going to review Godzilla Awakening. Now, as most of you know, my Legendary made these graphic novels or comics that usually happen before the film, like for this, Godzilla Awakening, it takes place before the events of Godzilla 2014. So, uh, as the story goes, after the bombing of Hiroshima or Nagasaki, like, a new kaiju, or I'll say titan for the universe, like, spawn after the bomb, which is called Shinomura. And Godzilla been wakened again, well, he wants to go battle the Shinomura to, like, somewhere in the Bikini Islands, as I remember, why, somewhere in the islands up in the Pacific, like, the, you, the military sent in a nuclear bomb, as you remember from the opening, opening credits of 2014 Godzilla. The bomb detonated on the two kaiju when battling. It killed Shinomura, and Godzilla gone under a hiatus for a couple of years. So, uh, that's basically the plot of this. But I'll say, I had... I took some time to read this, and this absolutely is a great comic. This is my first MonsterVerse graphic novel. This is my only one. I don't own the Birth of Kong, Godzilla, Aftershock, and Kong, Kingdom of Kong, and Godzilla Dominion. It's kind of surprising that Godzilla Dominion, like, the title of it almost sounds similar to Jurassic World Dominion. Look like both of my favorite franchise movies have Dominion in their name. But anyway. This first we see the uh the Japanese logo of Godzilla. Godzilla Awakening. So uh, yeah, like here's I'm gonna show you guys some previews about what the comic will look like. Here he is with this is almost like Medusa to me. Like seriously. This definitely does look like Medusa. But, uh, here's a Shinomura. Godzilla right there. Oh, here's a better look at Shinomura. Which, Shinomura is actually pretty much an underrated titan in the MonsterVerse, since it hasn't been talked about that much as most should have happened. But, this is a graphic novel. I'm pretty sure more people prefer watching a movie than, a graphic no than reading a graphic novel. In this page definitely seems interesting. It shows Godzilla going through a different extinction level of events. Like back then radiation used to be more higher than it was today, well in the timeline. So after the uh the extinction level of events, yeah he went on uh, hibernation. Till something like I don't know, the bomb of Hiroshima right there. Which Bunch and more. But uh, yeah. Let's go find some other page. It seems interesting. Another page of Shinomura. And there's there's spawn of two Shinomuras in there. Godzilla was able to kill one of them. And let's get to the page. Sorry it's taking a little longer just to go find the page of Shinomura. Yep, for Godzilla. There's the bomb blast. Where's there they are, and then boom. And it shows the death of Shinomura. So that's technically the, the comic here. Which I don't know why Godzilla went to the high eight high this after the nuclear bomb been hit. Like in King of the Monsters, he got hit directly in the face with with a bomb like that. So, uh, and he was energetic after that, so, uh, I don't know why that didn't happen, I just don't know. Monarch, Atomic Deployment Report, here's the, uh, the sketches of Godzilla, the, com the cover for it, Godzilla and Shinomura, the submarine tank, Godzilla and Hibernation, Godzilla vs. Shinomura, and the page go on. I love this part. Basically, you get a poster inside of this, 
And I thought that's awesome. The King of the Monsters has reborn. And the uh, trademark for Godzilla. So, uh, this definitely is a great, great graphic novel. I highly recommend it to anybody who don't own it yet. If I get this to, like, 0 out of 10, I'll give it a, a 10 out of 10. This is a, or I'll just give it a 9 out of 10. Like, it's still a great comic, but I wish we seen see a little bit more of the battle of Godzilla and Shinomura. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me which graphic novel of the MonsterVerse is your favorite. Right now, the only one I have to go for right now is God's Awakening, since it's the only one I technically own right now. But, uh, also tell me, like, do you guys like to comment like I do? Well, uh, I'm Godzilla Rexy saying for here, sign off, goodbye.